Today is the day. We are camped outside of Mindy's house right now. We're waiting for her to leave with the kids so that we can get in and get to work. We have so much to do. She's coming out the door, guys. Okay, there she is. We got the kids. They're so cute. I know. Okay, we got car seats. We got buckle up. Four kids. It's gonna be a sec. <laughs> She's pulling out now. Get down, guys. Go time. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to take this playground and we're going to shift it. That stretch of fence is coming out. That shed's going to come out. Do we need to take this tree out here? It's yeah. going to be a little bit tight in here for a minute. We started about 10 minutes ago and already tons of people here. We have a bobcat in here. We have a backhoe. A lot of different projects happening at the same time because we don't have a lot of time, obviously. We've got to be basically the new fence touching the house. Yep. I'm going to wrap it up and come and go. Yep. OK. They're disassembling the playground area and they're taking that out right here. And this will be a concrete path. It's actually two and a half feet. so. Yeah, so it's, I think that'll be a good sized pathway. We've got to work good. Stand clear, fence coming down. Right there. We want to run our drains in here, so we want to be five feet from the fence. Each e side. Every side, yeah. This is going really well. The fence has all come out. We got the shed out, all the logs, everything's out. They're grading this right now. Today, the big push is getting this grass out of here, getting ready for topsoil and, and sod and everything, all that fun stuff tomorrow. We coordinate a little bit with the paint guys. We want to make sure that they start on the shed because we're obviously pretty heavily in this area right now. We want to make sure they're in and out of our way by the time we get that direction. The problem with digging a big hole is that you end up with a big pile Dirt. It's a bit of a mess, <laughs> yeah. A giant truck just pulled out front. All of this dirt has to go into it. Lloyd from Affordable Fence just arrived with this cool machine that drills holes for the post that fast. It's a bit of a traffic jam with all the machines and all the trades, but so far it's been working really smooth. It's looking like we're getting a lot done here. Yeah, we're finally able to start setting some posts, and we had to wait for other people to get their stuff done so we uh -huh. could get this done. So we have like 40 posts to set. We're getting them set now. We're rolling right along. All right, Sean, some good concrete is here. Yeah, I'm really stoked to be here. I'm going to get some measurements. It's going to be a few hours before we can do it, but uh, it's going to be fun. Let's go check on the painters. They have moved to the front of the house. How's it going up here, guys? It's going good. Masking it off, going to paint it. Everything's going to look so awesome. And in the backyard, so much work has been done. We tore out the chain link fence on this side. The wood fence posts are all rotted, so we got permission from the homeowner next door to rip it out. So we're going to go ahead and finish off the fence for the neighbor as well. That way, it all looks pretty from his side. The forms for the concrete are being laid down. We're still moving dirt around. It's time to pour concrete. We've got all the curbing set up around the back fence. We've got the curbing going around the play area. And then we've got the sidewalk going around the house to the meditation spot. So we're ready to rock and roll. Let's, Perfect. Let's, let's pour get some it concrete done. Up. Let's do it. We've got like five, six more posts to set. And then I gotta go back to the shop and build the gates. So tomorrow we can come and install the gates, build all the sections. And then we gotta build the semi-privacy fence in the back which will be pretty time consuming. We got a big day tomorrow. My guys are gonna be doing the irrigation. All of our plants, all of our playground chips are gonna go in, bark mulch in the planter beds, and we gotta build a gazebo and an arbor. So big day tomorrow, but for tonight, we're calling it good. We'll see you tomorrow. It is day two. We have so much to do. Before we're through. Let's go help the crew. Yeah, I'm with you. James and his crew are working on landscaping, finishing the irrigation system, and getting the gazebo going. This is all new to me. There's like 50 pages in here. Gotta get, gotta get going. Sean's crew is finishing up concrete around the planter boxes, and Lloyd and his team are working on the remainder of the fence. Morning. Lloyd, where do you want this fence, brother? Start stacking them uh, every other post. Lloyd, can I help with something? Of course. So you want to go like right behind it. I'm gonna put another one in on the other side. Boom. Hey, you guys want to get that battery charger out? Yeah, probably shouldn't waste the battery. <laughs> we got a place that's going back in place. How's the edges? Good? Bueno? Bueno. Okay. That's the next. Oh, what's going on here? Guys, what's happening? Looks like we have a leak from somewhere. Oh, no. All right, what's the damage? We need new balls. 
the valves aren't working, so the main line's okay, or what? Uh, no, we have to take the main uh, the, the main, the valve's not working. You need new valves? We're gonna make it happen, don't worry. Thank you. James, is there something wrong with the sprinkler system? And so when they had all the equipment in there, they broke the main line. So for what we can tell, we're gonna have to probably reroute that whole main line underneath of that. So, yeah, no, it's, it's not, not good. Oh, man. We're gonna have to leave the guys to solve that problem. We need to keep moving. So the gazebo is coming together, but it turns out it is quite the project, so we gotta get a move on here. These bolts are all coming through. These holes right here need to be on the bottom. I'm just trying to see where we fasten it. So now we're gonna flip it. Yeah, that's how it goes. Looking good. So Mindy really wanted to be able to see into the schoolyard because this is where her kids play. And so the back fence is gonna be semi-private. You can see through these slits here and she'll have a view of the schoolyard still. So works out great. Hey everybody, the saw's here. Let's get to work. Hold on the thought. They'll need another 30, 45 minutes on the sprinklers. We are about three hours from Mindy coming home. We are so far from being done. So we called in some reinforcements. We have some friends, some family, and some buddies from the National Guard. You guys with me? Yeah. Let's do this. Woo! Wood chips are coming. Go team, go. We've got this new area for the play set, so now we got to fill it with a bunch of wood chips. Skywalker Trampolines is here, and they have donated this really cool trampoline. It's the Mac Daddy <laughs> of all trampolines. They're going to have so much fun, they're not going to want to go in Yeah, again. they're going to go nuts for this. They really are. Hey. I just found out that a special surprise that we have for Mindy and her family just got here. Let's go check it out. There's a really neat story behind this mosaic. So Corey passed away before he got a chance to meet his youngest son, Jack. After he passed, a relative commissioned a watercolor of the whole family. The family loves that image so much, and a local artist heard Corey's story and wanted to create this mosaic as a centerpiece for their outdoor meditation area, a place where the family can go and reflect and remember their father. Which we think is pretty special. The sprinkler system has been fixed. They're finishing up now. Let's get that side down. The sod is finally going down, and that's one of the final things that we're doing, so you know we're getting close. It's getting exciting. The fence is almost finished. Lloyd is assembling the custom gate. Okay, let's bring in the trampoline. This is going into the meditation area. It's going to be a pretty cool place to sit. Looks good. Hey, guys, the gazebo is done. Yeah. There is about half an hour before Mindy gets home right now, and we are gonna pull this off, I think. My wife saw these wind chimes, and they got turtles on them. Turtle stands for perseverance and protection. So we wanna hang these up back in the little reflection area. It's got their names, the whole family's names right there. Just a few finishing touches for the backyard. Sprinklers are done. James needs to celebrate this victory. It's been working hard. It was a full day, man. Yeah, James. We're heading there on their way here right now, guys. So we have an accelerated timeline. Mindy's going to be here in five minutes, so everybody's literally scrambling to clear everything out and get ready. Oh, no! Guys, we got a problem. The trailer's falling off the hitch. Uh, I've had this happen to me at the dump before. Go down with it. OK, go forward. A little bit more. Guys, we got to hurry. She's almost here. Go back. Hold on, we gotta go back with it. There you go. Good job, guys. Get that truck out of here. She's turning in now. So when they arrive, Janice is going to grab the kids so we can reveal to Mindy first. Here we go. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, hey! How you doing? Oh my goodness! Well, what's crazy, look, we do mini random acts, too. So we did a little landscaping in front. We painted the trim a little bit. We just oh wanted to. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We have one mini random act surprise, but we want it to be a legit surprise. So we need to blindfold you. Is that all right? OK. So here we go. I'm going to blindfold you like this. Can you see? No. We are going to take your mom on a little surprise. <laughs> and we're just going to walk. I'm going to guide you through stuff. Come on, guys. Let's reposition for backyard, please. We're almost there. All right, now. You're doing great, I know. We're going to go just a little further, about six more. I think this is a good little spot. All right, I'm going to take out the blindfold, but don't open your eyes until I say so, OK? OK. Got it, close your eyes. All right, close. Ready? One, two, three. Open your eyes. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Do we know 
your story and uh, what an amazing man your husband is. And we know how much this was like a project for you guys and you wanted to finish it together to have a space for your family to just have fun and enjoy. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. We know how important meditation was to your husband, so we have one more little surprise we'd like to show you. Okay. So we're just going to walk you this way. We wanted to give you an area in your home where you guys could meditate, um, reflect and think about him oh. and what he meant to your family. Take a look. So a local artist heard about your story and they knew about this painting and they recreated it as a mosaic so it could be out here in this area. Oh, I love it. I don't even know what else to say. This is amazing. Should we show the kids? Yeah. They're gonna love it. <laughs> All right, let's go show them. Here they come! Everybody look! Oh my God, this is so nice! <laughs> <laughs> you like the trampoline? Look at the place that over there. Whoa. The trampoline. But why can't do that? Because they're amazing. Because yeah. they're so cool. That almost looks new. So there's a really, really cool thing around the corner I want to show you guys. Will you walk with me? Okay. You remember how Dad did his meditations all the time? This is a meditation area. We can sit on this bench and look. Our picture that they made for us and they put it into a mosaic of our whole family. Do you guys want to sit on the bench? This is so nice. So this is our new meditation area. What do you guys think? I love it. Okay, so obviously it wasn't just us that made this happen. There were so many amazing people in the community, family, friends, and amazing professionals that donated all their time and materials. And we want you to meet everybody. So everybody, come on out here. There this is are. James and Fernando with Lawn Butler. I can't stress how much work they did, how much did they put into this yard today. <laughs> Thank you. This is Sean with Good Concrete. He laid all the concrete. Thank you so much. Our hearts are going to go out to you. I'm so sorry for you. Lloyd and the group from Affordable Fence. Thank you so much. Awesome fence for you. And Elisa from Skywalker Trampoline and her group came over and did this for you. Thank you so much. I can't even say how much I appreciate it. It is beautiful and I love it. So thank you. That's our show, everyone. Big thanks to Lawn Butler, Good Concrete, Affordable Fence, Xavier Paint, and Skywalker Trampoline. Random acts on three. One, One two, two, three. Random acts. Hey, stop meshing around. And subscribe. Go on, hop to it, spring over to your keyboard and mouse, and subscribe to our channel. Every time you do, Melanie will do a slam dunk. Go for it, Mel. Boom. Oh, one subscribe. What? Oh, two subscribe. <laughs> Keep it going. Jump to it. Spring into action, go for it, woo! Just subscribe.